Mars in different houses from moon. Now regarding Mars in first, second, fourth, seventh, eighth, and twelfth house from moon, Mangal Dosh from moon is also will also be made. I don't give much importance to Mangal Dosh, but I will consider it as a factor which can give problems in marriage. So if the seventh house, seventh lord Venus from the ascendant is afflicted, then Mangal Dosh from moon becomes problematic. And because Mars indicates you know, power authority, this Mangal Dosh from moon can make the native or the spouse, depending on whose horoscope, have other supportive combinations. Very authoritative and very bossy in the relationship which can contribute to bad marriage. So this is one thing that we have to keep in mind while assessing the result of Mars. If 7th house, 7th Lord Venus are in a good condition, then generally Mangal Dosha is not problematic at all. But yes, people having Mangal Dosha, getting married to Mangal Dosha because they have same level of energy is a better match. Now Moon with Mars. The native is generally fair complexion but will have stomach elements and other health problems. Will have red eyes. Red eyes as in the native is always angry, short-tempered, right? Or the native is generally diseased because of which they will have red eyes. Blood-related issues, blood-related complaints will also be there. Mars and second house from moon. Now in this particular case, apart from uh, making Mangal uh, Dosha from moon, it will also make Sunufa Yoga. And because of the Sunufa Yoga, native will have things in plenty. Resources in plenty, things in plenty, native will be rich. Native will be loved by people of the opposite gender. Very popular in the people of opposite gender. Generally, such people have multiple relationships as well. Uh, you know, relationships before marriage, outside marriage, extramarital affairs, these things are there. But what I have seen with Mars in the second house is generally such people by the end of their life or uh, for the maximum part of their life lives alone. So generally, uh, Mars in second house from moon does indicate either a late marriage or in the case of early marriage by the age of 50-55, the native is generally separated from their wife and children and is forced to live alone. This is a very significant prediction which should be highlighted in your mind. Apart from that, the native is also a big land landlord, have multiple properties and the native does good in agriculture as well. Mars in third house from moon, native will get much happiness from their children who will bring him happiness, wealth and proud. Native will also have much happiness from their siblings as well. Native will also get much happiness from their spouse as well. The person will be very valorous. He will be very influential and his influence will never decrease in life. The native by nature will be gentle, will be gentle, will have multiple comforts in his life and will also have many siblings. Mars in fourth house from moon, the ha happiness of the native is curtailed. There can be death, separation or loss of a spouse. It is bad for marital life. Mangal Dosha is there. The native may suffer poverty. The native will be timid. Loss of spouse, I have already told you. Mars in fifth house from moon, there will be delay in marriage. And if this Mars is very afflicted, then it can be that native is unmarried and don't have a spouse or children. Mars in sixth house from moon, native will destroy his enemies. Native will be given to prostitution, extramarital affairs, etc. Native will be speak, uh, sweet spoken, but will be an atheist, will be very brave, but will be troubled by blood diseases, accidents, and other Mars related troubles. Mars in seventh house from moon, Native will suffer from common diseases of cough cold. Native will be shameless. Native will be lazy. Will be always troubled by one or other diseases. Spouse will have a, a very bad, rough, coarse temper. The spouse can be humiliating, torturing as well. And the native himself will be unaffectionate towards anyone, particularly his family members. Mars and 8th house from moon. The native knows his self. That means to say the native is spiritual is given to meditation, etc. But the native is lazy. The native will generally speak harsh and cruel words because of which others will feel dejected and because it will be influencing the second house also because of this particular reason. Generally, people will not want to spend time with the native 
because of which he will feel loneliness because of the advice of the native generally native is prone to giving bad advices to people and because of this bad advice people will also face losses in their life the native will have evil disposition the native will be shameless and native will be devoid of righteous values dharmic values mars in ninth house from moon native will become rich in old age and will get wealth and other gifts from his children mars in 10th house from moon once again native get riches in old age native have things because of which in society it looks like that he is very rich and affluent native have multiple vehicles as well and because mars is in the 10th house from moon it will be good to work with your sibling mars in 11th house from moon native will be famous in the circle of powerful people will have all type of sources of enjoyment the native can be head of some government organization native will be handsome and will enjoy name fame status power authority like a celebrity when mars is in 12th house from moon it will give trouble to everyone and particularly will give miseries to mother but apart from that the native will also make anfa yoga because of which the native will be popular and will have multiple wealth and resources